Okay. <laughs> quick, quick, final Street Fighter V tier list after qualify for, qualifying for Capcom Cup. Gained a bunch of experience. Very familiar with this meta. I'm very confident in my opinion on it. I've been playing it constantly. Let's just, let's just go down the list, I guess. Abigail. I don't think he's the bottom tier, but he's pretty bad. I think I think we all agree Abigail's trash. Alex, solid B tier. I think Alex is overrated. Like I remember, I remember earlier in the season people were talking about Alex like he was good, and then he just fell off hard. He's just a B tier. He's just all right. Blanca, another C tier. Pretty bad. Vega, okay, <laughs> okay character. B tier. Birdie. He's either B or C tier. Well, Meg, Meg qualified. Yeah, Bird, Birdie's in Capcom Cup. So that that alone ups him a lot. But I, I think he's pretty not good. <laughs> he has some decent matchups. Rog? I think I think it's pretty comfortable putting Rog in S tier after Era 1. He's in Capcom Cup. He beat every single Japanese good player multiple times. I don't think anyone has escaped his wrath. So if a character can beat all the best players in the world, it's definitely S tier, bro. Quick, quick trip it. Cody? Again, again, Momochi is beating everyone. And there's other Cody mains doing it too. There's Shine, there's... John Takeuchi had a couple of good tournaments. You know? I, I feel like S, S is like... With this character, if you're skilled enough, you can beat anyone in the world. I, I think that's a good definition of S. Cammy? Again, <laughs> like I said, the definition of S is you can beat everyone in the world. I don't know if Cammy can beat every single player. Luke matchup's really bad. Yeah, she fell off. She, she just doesn't do enough damage. She doesn't, doesn't play this meta's playstyle. Chun. I think Chun would be S tier if Sim and Poison didn't give her trouble, right? Well, I don't know if Poison gives her trouble, but I know Sim does. I think... <sighs> there might be... I might have to... Update this A plus because I seeing seeing Chun and Cammy together just makes it doesn't feel right. <laughs> There's an A plus for sure. Or Chun Lee's really good. Dalsum, <sighs> I'm gonna be controversial here. I don't think that I think Dalsum is ridiculous and can beat every single player in the world, but I don't know if he's SS. I don't know if he's in that tier. A lot of people, a lot of people talk him up because I, I think a lot of it is just that he's really annoying to fight against and it doesn't feel good to lose to him. But I don't really know. The re the only results are Mr. Crimson. That's it. No one else has stepped up in this whole year. So that that makes me think like, you know, no proof. He he might be SS on paper, but there's not enough proof. If Mr. Crimson wins Cavern Cup, uh, maybe. But I, he's been like he loses tournaments. He doesn't win them all. Ed, A plus with Chun Li. I, I think that's fair to say. Fighting against a really good Ed player feels similar to fighting against a really good Chun player. It's like hell. This is so annoying. But <laughs> the matchup, the matchup spread, like Ed can't beat every single character. I think. If there was, if there was an A plus plus tier or an S minus tier, I might put Ed there. But I don't know. <laughs> if there was an S minus, I'd put Ed there. You know what? <laughs> There's a difference, bro. I'm making S minus. S minus. <laughs> Ed's an S minus. He probably can beat every single every single player in the world, but I don't know if it's like as easy as the other S tiers. Bang. He's annoying, but he, you know, you can't even beat a lot of matchups effectively. Just annoying. Almost single-handedly because of four fills, I think folks A tier, maybe even A plus. But I'm gonna keep her at A. Four fills is really good at this character. He beat me in two sets. I went to this. Realized that this character is kind of broken, but she has troublesome matchups. Stops her from being an S tier, in my opinion. G, G used to be amazing, really good, but now he fell off. He's just all right. He has really. He's really volatile. He needs to get in and get really lucky to win, which is not good. <laughs> Balrog, Cody, Dalsum, Ed, they don't need to get lucky to win. They just need to outplay their opponent. G needs to get lucky. That, that's his main fault. Kuma.
Yeah, I'll put him in B. I'll be merciful. Akuma has decent matchups. It's just he has to work so hard for everything he gets right now. And even if you are the most skillful Akuma player, you just lose. <laughs> You're not going to beat Dalsum. You're not even going to beat Cody. Any of these S tiers right now. Anyone in the S tiers, Akuma's just not going to beat if they're the best player of that character. He just, he just fell off really hard. He's really bad now. Kyle. I'm thinking A or A+. Plus. Mostly because of Daigo and Haguchi are proving that this character is worth well. I think it's A. Because he's not... It, there's a lot of matchups that aren't that good. Like these three. <laughs> Everything in S, when, when I look at S tier, I just think, man, that's hard for Gal. And there's so few Gals. There's not a lot of data on this character. He might be underrepresented, but I'm putting him here for now. Buki, E tier. The offensive characters this season fell off hard. More about consistency and damage than having crazy mix ups and stuff. Because of like the new meta. Buki's not that good. Jury, easy S tier, in my opinion. I'm just going to... I'll, I'll iron it out if something... If some things look weird, I'll iron it out. Jury's probably S tier. She has some weird matchups though, right? There's some matchups that aren't that good for her. Pretty sure. I think Luke does pretty good against her. You can't really, like... Sim and Poison are hard for her, aren't they? I don't know. She might She might be S minus. <laughs> or... I'll put her in S minus for now. I might upgrade her later. Ken? When I made the A plus tier, I thought immediately of Ken. I thought immediately of this character. Because he's like so close to S tier, but he just doesn't make it, bro. <laughs> like I said, my definition of S tier is you can beat every single player in the world with that character if you're just really good. And Ken's just falls slightly short. If he just was a little bit better, he'd be in that tier. But he's not. He's, he's as good as you can be without being like super duper threat character. Kage, pretty trash, honestly. I guess I'll put him in B tier, because he's not these characters. A Shoto that does a lot of damage, but has really bad neutral and really has no range. The best Kage players I fight against fight like Maniacs, which I think is a testament to this character's weaknesses. If, if that's the best you can do with the character, like, the characters, bro, it's just not good. <laughs> this is pre I'm pretty much only putting her in A tier because of Evo. Maybe even A+, plus. I don't know. Is Kawano 1 Evo? That's it. <laughs> the character the character fell off pretty hard, but it, she also won Evo. So, I'll play it there. I don't feel any threat when I fight against Colleen. Aaron. Again, there's no data. Everyone stopped playing her. I'm putting her in B2 just because I'm listening to the Karen players. They obviously think there's a problem with this character. Her matchups aren't that bad though, I'm pretty Or A+. I'm not... I'm not playing around with Laura. She could she could honestly be S minus. I'm not a lower down player. I think she's super duper good. Maybe because of Luke and like really good. I don't destroy every single person with Laura all the time. Not no one plays her anymore. Not that good. And she's just outdated. I don't think Alex is that good, man. There was there was hype around Alex for a while, and then it just fizzled out. The Kali biggest Borderline C tier, but because of the size bonus or buff, probably B tier. Nash. I feel like with some of these characters, I don't even have to explain it. <laughs> Nash is so bad. He's trash. He's borderline D tier. But he has, he has the tools to outplay if you're really good in matchups. Armika. I'm split between A and B. I think Armika is pretty good. Cause she can, she can random everyone out like crazy. Like I'm, I'm watching Knuckle do, and it's like, if you're in the hands of a really good player, you can make Army extremely scary. But I guess that's a lot of B tier characters. Like I'm sure if Tokido hopped on Akuma, or Smug on G, it would also be really scary. That, that doesn't really prove that much. Yeah, she's super random, <laughs> scarily random. Rashid, I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. He can beat all these characters. Rashid is like eternally good. Somewhere between S minus and S. He can beat every single player. The runaway game and like the neutral is so hard to deal with. His buttons are crazy. 
Ryu. Borderline C. This fireball is really good in matchups that he can use it. When I imagine Ryu, I literally just imagine fireball. Because everything else is so... Not good compared to it. If he can fireball, he's pretty good. The god's pretty similar, honestly. Except his fireballs are a little bit harder to punish. He just, he just fireballs. <laughs> so if a character lets him fireball, he can win. Sakura. Another really outdated character. Relies on a lot of mix-ups and getting in, like, stunning you and pressuring you, but the meta's changed. EC made influence reactions better, and V-Shift made defense easier. Not good anymore. Maybe it was never that good. Yurian. Now this A+, plus, this A-plus tier, I mean, wouldn't it work, bro? <laughs> so many characters are A+. Plus. He might even be S-. minus. I'm gonna be bold. I'm putting him in S-. minus. You Yurian players are crybabies. Just because you lost Invincible Headbutt and uh, Hit Confirm into Aegis, you can still whiff punish into Aegis, and you can you don't need <laughs> random wake-ups, bro. Your character's crazy, and you have V-Shift if you want to. You want to be defensive on wake-up. Your character's so crazy. <laughs> Dude, if, if you play Yurian and you try really hard, you can be every single player in the world. He's definitely ass. And Bison. Uh, probably S minus. He fell off a little bit. And Bison used to be like clean in S tier, but yeah, he, his matchup spread is really good. That's honestly what I think about. I think about M Bison. His matchups are really good. Like he he wins matchups that a lot of other characters struggle with. He's, he's S minus. He's a really good character. It's just he's at the end of S. Then give D tier. I think he like loses no ma or wins no matchups at all. <laughs> maybe he does like maybe he survives that. Zeku probably hates here. I think the function Zeku. Let let me just do this. Zeku was like this this weird hybrid character between footsies and like being a Shoto. But there's a character in this game that is basically old and young Zeku combined. Which, I, I feel like completely invalidates Zeku's existence. <laughs> Just Luke. Luke is old, old and young Zeku combined, bro. <laughs> His footsies are amazing. He has a good fireball. He has like the, the rush down and the neutral. I'm gonna put Luke in SS. Just because Zeku reminded me of how good Luke was. Could you imagine picking Zeku over Luke if you had the choice? Gil, C tier. <laughs> the neutral's just not good, bro. Like, he, sure, he gets a bunch of damage if he gets in, but it's like it's almost like Zangief. Zangief gets a lot of damage if he gets in. How are you gonna get in? Honda's down here too. Honda's just mad annoying, but pretty bad. He might be beats here. Lucia, Lucia's among the worst characters in the game. Honda D. Honestly, I'm putting that. I'm putting Nash in D. That doesn't look right. Poison. I think Poison's S. Probably just S. Honestly. She like loses to Luke. It. Who else does she lose to? Rog? No, bro. Dan seats here. Honda's not that bad. He's not. These characters are free in tournament. Honda, at least like when you're playing against No Need to Talk, you're like, damn, I gotta try pretty hard. Oh yeah, Honda that's good against Poison. God. <laughs> Such a random matchup to do good in. Seth, B tier. Another outdated character, but does good in some matchups. Rose. Really bad. <laughs> really bad. Rose is terrible. <laughs> Honestly. I know, I, I talked to Filipino Man. Filipino Man seems... You talk to a lot of good players. This, this is something that happens when you talk to a really good player. Sometimes they don't speak truthfully because they they're trying to hype themselves up so that they can win in tournament. They so talk to Filipino man. He's like, yeah, she does good in like every matchup. She can win. It's like, bro, <laughs> that is not, definitely not the truth. But respect for saying that, so you can do good in tournament. I guess that's definitely not the truth. But it'll help you in tournament. Oh, I gotta play. I love this. Well, let me finish this tier list. Akira, B tier. Oro, D tier. Oro sucks. Rose sucks too. Okay.